Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Leanne and I love sharing budget friendly DIYs with you and that's what I have for you today. They have a fun little twist because they are part of Sammy's Try It Tuesdays challenge. If you're not familiar with Sammy, her channel is Unicorn Dust Designs. I will talk about that a little bit as we get into the projects. So let's get started. All right, so for my first DIY, I've got these three little metal buckets. I picked these up at a thrift store for like it was either a dollar or 50 cents i don't remember but for the three of them great price but you can get them at like craft stores and dollar tree and stuff like that and we're going to dry brush this with some waverly chalk paint in the color white to start out with this inspiration came from sammy the host of today's challenge and the point of the challenge is to get your inspiration from other creators and kind of put your own spin on it or recreate it whatever you want to do and then share that so this one came from um, a recent video she did for Dollar Tree Planters, and I will have um, her channel and that video linked down below for you. And so I kind of just took the general idea of a couple of them and mixed them all together into my own one here. So if you're looking for lots of planter ideas, take a look at her video. And what I'm doing with mine is I am doing a couple coats and letting it thoroughly dry in between. So I wanted more coverage, but I still wanted it to look sparse. So I just did a little bit at a time. And now I'm going in and doing the same thing with um, some black paint. This is a black and brown paint combo that I use later in the video that I had out. And um, I did that also with just a dry brush, not doing a full coverage here. And then once that was dry, I went back in with a little bit more white paint because I definitely wanted it to be brighter and lighter, but I wanted the old rustic look, which honestly, these tins were kind of old and rustic when I bought them from the thrift store, but nonetheless. And sorry, the lighting keeps changing in the video. I was doing it uh, different times of day and the sun coming in and out and all that stuff. So now I'm just taking some of the green floral foam from the Dollar Tree. This is the stuff that's like more flexible and I think you can use with water if you're using actual like real flowers and I just cut that into pieces and I'm putting it down in the tin it it's fit really perfect where it was a nice and snug but you can kind of smush in the corners to get it down in there and then I'm taking these succulents that I picked up from the Dollar Tree as well as these rocks and the styrofoam helped keep it from me needing to use like tons of rocks, which was a great filler. And I just did that for all three and then pushed the succulents all the way down once I had the rocks in. And I think this is really cute. A nice little set. Of course, you could just do one of them, but I had the set of three and I thought that was fun. All right. So for this next one, I've got this sign that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. I think I got it for under a dollar. It was on clearance. I always look for these types of things and get them super cheap. But Dollar Tree often has signs similar in size. And I'm just going to trace and cut out some scrapbook paper to attach to the front of this. And I'm gonna use a Gorilla glue stick. I love this glue stick. I think I picked it up at Marshall's. Um, and then we're going to adhere this on. Now this DIY is actually to be using the faux leather from Dollar Tree. It was so excited that I found it. And Crafts by Caitlin recently did a video using that faux leather. And so I am going to take some inspiration from one of her ideas and do something similar. So I smoothed out the paper and use a sanding block to kind of trim off the edges, so to speak. And I'm going to cut out a piece of this faux leather that fits the stencil that I'm planning on using. So that's why I have the stencil on there. And I'm just going to trace out a piece and cut it out. And now I just use some masking tape to hold it on. And I'm gonna mix some black and brown paint here, just some apple barrel paints by plaid that I have. And I'm going to stencil it. You do gotta hold the stencil on, you know, you don't want any bleed through. So holding it on and also not having too much paint on your brush will make all the difference in the world. Take your time. This video is quite sped up. So I just put a little bit of paint on the brush, dabbed it off on a paper towel and continued until I had the stencil all on there. And it actually came out really good. I did not have any bleed through and I thought it came out cute. So once that's dry, we're going to attach this to our sign and I'm going to use some hot glue. Kind of wish I had used the glue stick, but I wasn't positive if the if it was strong enough, but I think the Gorilla glue stick would have been. The hot glue worked great, but you want to make sure you don't have too much. Otherwise, it will be a like bumpy uh, piece around the edge. But anyways, I went ahead and hot glued around the whole thing. 
I am going to have Caitlin's video linked down below for you, as I said earlier about Sammy's, and um, you can check hers out. For a little added detail, I am using these little, I painted these actually for a previous DIY that I never ended up using them on, but they're those little like iridescent, is that the right word? Button type stickers from Dollar Tree, and I just painted them and hot glued them on. I think Caitlin used like thumbtacks and just cut off the like pointy part. But anyways, it just looks like some like nails or hardware in there. And I love how this came out really quick and easy to do, but uh, super cute. Okay, so for this next one, this is really easy. I have this little yard steak sign from the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna use my hair dryer or you can use a heat gun just to loosen it up to get the steak out of there. You could also just cut it off, but I decided to go this route. Now I got this idea from, from Kristen K and she had an idea using the wired uh, wheel wreath form from Dollar Tree and I already had that and had used it in the fall and I'm going to show this to you in a second um, but she gave me kind of the idea of switching out what I had already used it for. So now I'm going to take the wired jute cord from Dollar Tree and cut off a piece. Now I realized that when you cut it off the jute cord kind of comes off the wire so I was using some hot glue to kind of um, keep that from unraveling. Now a pipe cleaner would have been perfect for this. I wanted to use something that was soft because I'm going to be putting this on my door and I didn't want it scratching the glass but a pipe cleaner would have worked really great as well and I'm just going to use some super glue gel to attach this. I would, didn't use hot glue because this is going to be in the sun. So um, here is the wheel form that I used previously for fall time. has harvest on there obviously. So I'm just going to take that off. That's just on there with some wire. This was not previously used on my door as a wreath. Um, so I just took that off and I am going to take some garland from the Dollar Tree. I bought two of them, which I'm glad I did just because they're kind of sparse looking. And I'm just gonna wrap this around. And she made, um, Kristen had used like a wood piece and put some florals on there, which would be another great way to kind of just make it versatile that you could constantly be switching out. So I definitely didn't do the same thing as hers, but it definitely gave me the inspiration. So I will have her video linked down below for you, along with the Try It Tuesday playlist in Sammy's channel. So don't forget to check all of that out. That will be, you know, lots of information in the description box. So once I have the garland wrapped around and I, like I said, I didn't use any glue or anything. I actually moved outside to do this part. As you can probably tell, I was just on my driveway, um, just wrapping this around. It is wired um, garland. So um, that attached really easily. The ends were easy to attach as well um, just by twisting them around. And then we're going to add our little truck and this goes well with what's on my porch. Unfortunately, I didn't have all the things I needed to hang this up on my door, so I'm just showing it to you laying on my driveway, but I love how it came out. If you're new, please consider subscribing, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time.